Good afternoon, Word of Grace family. Today is Monday, August the 3rd, 2020, and welcome to today's edition of Five Minutes of Encouragement. As usual, the scriptures that I reference during this talk will be in the description box of this video. I ask that you both like and share this hashtag five minutes of encouragement. Today's encouragement families comes out of Matthew 16 and it is pretty much the entire chapter of Matthew 16. In this chapter it starts off with a conversation between Jesus and some of the church leaders and they're asking him for a sign and <laughs> he, it upset him, called them hypocrites. He says the only sign that you're going to get from me is the sign of Jonah. For us Post cross, we realize what that sign really meant. He later has a conversation with his disciples. So after this is blown over, he's with his disciples. And he turns to him and says something that is tied to that conversation he had with the Pharisees, Sadducees, with, with the leaders. And he tells them, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of Herod. Now, the disciples not being privy to that conversation didn't understand what he meant and thought he was talking about bread. A <laughs> whole different lesson there. But what Jesus was really saying to them is this. Me plus nothing is everything. Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. My encouragement for us today, family, beware of our own leaven. Beware of what we think we need to add to the finished works of Christ, particularly when we're seeking for something spiritual for ourselves or ministering to someone else. Beware of our own leaven. So family, Jesus plus nothing equals absolutely everything. Kind of the message that Jesus wanted to make sure everyone had. And he continues his conversation. He's already told the Pharisees and Sadducees that they aren't getting a sign. He's told his disciples to beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, and they didn't really understand what that meant. He thought, they thought he was actually talking about bread. And then he asked them this question, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And so they came up with all kinds of answers. John the Baptist, Elijah the prophet, um, uh, one, of the, one of the prophets come back. He says, but who do you say I am? And then Peter I believe had his mind touched by God. Well, well, of course he had his mind touched because it was a revelation straight from the Father that Jesus was the son of the living God. And, P and Jesus pays Peter a huge compliment and says, blessed are you, Simon, for flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you. Only my Father who is in heaven could have revealed this. And he says, you are Peter. And this is part of the leaven I believe that we have accepted in our own culture today. He says, you are Peter. And on this rock, I'll build my church. Now, the, the nuance in the Greek brings out more the revelation there. It says, you are Peter. In Greek, is Petros. Petros is tiny rocks, like tiny pebbles all around. But on this Petra, on this rock, on this slab, on this huge cliff of a rock, I'm going to build my church. What is the church built on? The fact that Jesus is the Son of God, or the way I like to say it, He's God in the flesh. He's God here dwelling among us. And Him plus nothing equals absolutely everything. So once again, today's encouragement is simply this, family. Jesus plus absolutely nothing is everything. And that is so important as we move to the next level. As we move to the next level in our relationship with God, as we move to the next level in our stance or our, our offices as kings and priests or a kingdom of priests, as we move to the next level, it has to be built on the foundation that Jesus plus nothing equals absolutely everything. Why is that? We don't want to be the ones leavening people's bread. We don't want to be the ones adding leaven to our own bread. There's absolutely nothing that the Father is withholding from you. The Apostle Paul says, he who gave up Jesus as his own son, um, how, how would he not uh, through him give us absolutely everything? He's not withholding anything from us. Family, this has been today's edition of five minutes of encouragement. As usual, I absolutely love and adore each and every one of you, but more importantly, 
Jesus loves you. Go make it a great day, family. We'll see you back here tomorrow.